Hey everybody, it's Lindsay and I am finally getting to this video. Uh, this is something that I said months ago that I was going to do. This is um, like a frequently asked questions video, um, just me answering questions that you've asked. Because I was getting a lot of questions in my videos that were kind of too long or too wordy or whatever for a typed response. So I set up uh, a module on my channel where people could ask questions and vote on them. So I just kind of picked some of the most popular ones and I'll be answering them. I'm probably going to split this video into two parts because it'll just be too long for one. So this is part one and I'll probably do part two tomorrow or something like that. All right, so the first question is, what did you study in college? What kind of job do you have? Um, I went to Penn State, I studied business management and I have a job in business. So I'm, I'm using my, my degree. Um, how did you save so well to have a house with your husband so soon after you graduated? And I can completely understand why that would be a question, why people would be curious about that. Um, I graduated in May. We got married in June and moved into our house. So yeah, um, Ryan bought the house actually about a year and a half before we got married. Um, we knew we were going to be married. We weren't engaged at that time. So he bought it on his own. Uh, he works really hard. He's a really good saver. And that's how we were able to do that. I mean, I had student loans and things like that. So, you know, ordinarily somebody just graduating from college is not in a position to buy a house, but Ryan was. So that's how that worked out. Um, what is your and Ryan's story? How did you meet? How long have you been together? And how did he propose? Um, Ryan and I have known each other a very long time. Uh, when I hear our story, I think it's kind of Oh, sounds a little bit cheesy and kind of surprises me that it's mine, but um, we met in sixth grade. We were in the same class together. We kind of joke around that we were microscope buddies. Uh, we shared micro we shared our microscope in science class. Um, we didn't start dating until our junior year, and then we dated for five years till we got married, um, June 2011. So. And we didn't break up at all during that time. And when I hear that, it just kind of surprises me because I was never the kind of person who needed, felt any pressure to be married young or really wanted that or anything. And not that I didn't want it, but I think I'm very much a realist. So I looked at our relationship, you know, dating in high school, we were so young. I never looked at it like, oh my gosh, this has to be the person I spend the rest of my life with. Um, I think dating around is good and things like that, but we just never had a real reason to break up. So I didn't see a need to do that and um, it's not that we didn't fight or anything like that but we just I just think we had you know the same goals and things like that and so we ended up dating for five years and five years is a very long time to date ordinarily I wouldn't recommend dating that long but we were so young it didn't make sense to get married any sooner and looking back I really really cherish that time and appreciate that we had that time because I feel like if you're older, when you start dating, then there is more of a pressure to get married sooner and things like that. And I think those five years were just great for us to completely get to know each other. I mean, getting married, they always say, you know, your first year is the hardest and you have so much to get used to each other. And I don't feel like it's been very much of an adjustment just because we know each other so well. Um, and I feel like we really, prepared ourselves for marriage and understanding that it's not a fantasy and it's not a fairy tale and that it's real life and and we're having a great time so that's our story um as far as how we proposed it's a good one it's i mean it's not probably not the greatest story ever but for me it was like as good as it gets um we you know dating that long we had talked about marriage many times we knew we were getting married i knew it was going to be what i knew kind of the general time he was going to propose you know a, a block of months because we knew when we wanted to get married so i knew oh any day now he has to propose and um which is fine with me i'm not a big surprise person so i kind of wanted to know like just let me know that that's where we're headed and that's what's going on i didn't want it to be a, a total surprise like oh my gosh i had no idea you were gonna ask me to marry you which yeah that's just not who i am so I actually thought the day that he proposed, I thought I was going to go to get massages with my mom and my sister-in-law. And when the doorbell rang, I figured it was my sister-in-law coming to the door and here it was Ryan. And it was a work day. So I knew then, you know, if he had taken off work, he was probably proposing that day. So I was so excited. He blindfolded me and he drove me to a, um, a spa where he had a massage and then he had me get like a, sol a shoulder massage and neck massage while I was getting a manicure. And I was so 
like, oh my gosh, this isn't right. This is, I, I didn't know this is when this was happening because I was wearing just kind of, you know, I was going to get a massage with my mom and sister-in-law. So I was just kind of wearing like not much makeup. And, you know, I hadn't washed my hair that day because, you know, you just get greasy anyway. And I was, wasn't the right outfit. And I was like, oh my word, I was kind of freaking out. Like there's going to be pictures of this. And I, this is just not how I wanted to look. But he had me get the, the manicure because he knew that I would be, you know, for all the ring pictures you take, that I would want my nails looking bright and everything like that. Um, so then after that, we were, there's like a really nice lounge area in the spa and we were sitting there and um, we had some time before our dinner re reservations and there, this spa has an incredible, incredible um, locker room, if you can even call it that. Um, just so beautiful and it's just incredible. And so I, you know, they have everything there for you to take a shower and get ready and things. But, you know, I said, you know, I don't, I'm not going to get a shower and wash my hair because I don't have my flat iron. I don't have makeup or anything. And he's like, you know, don't worry, that's taken care of. And I'm thinking, what? And so here I go into the locker room and they bring out a suitcase for me, which has tons of my makeup, uh, lots of shoes, bunch of my jewelry, um, all my hair stuff that I would need to get ready. And Ryan had bought a dress for me to wear that evening. And it was just, I was so blown away. That is so not like him. Um, it just kind of felt so like pretty woman to me without the prostitution card. But um, yeah, so, and the dress was beautiful. He actually took one of my girlfriends to go try it on and you know help him pick it out and it was just such a beautiful dress i mean it, it's a dress it's just like a classic black dress that i will wear forever because it's timeless and so i just had a, it was so amazing i just i knew we were getting engaged that night and so i'm getting ready and i'm doing my makeup and i just felt so pampered it was so amazing so then we took a walk they have like formal gardens there and that's where he actually proposed and then we had dinner at the formal dining room and then we went home and told all of our parents and our family and everything and it was just it couldn't have been a more perfect way for me it was it was private and intimate but it was still so special and I felt really pampered it was just really shocking for I don't know he's just not like a lavish guy like that so for him to do that was really special he knew that's how he would want it that's how I would want it um what types of food do you eat to stay healthy and energetic and do you take any vitamins to help your hair and nails to keep, help keep your hair and nails beautiful. I take biotin, 5,000 micrograms of biotin every day for my hair and nails, mainly my nails. Um, you just get it at Walmart, it's super cheap. It's a B vitamin. Um, I started taking that years ago because uh, I had acrylics for a long time and when I got them off, my nails were paper thin. So I started taking biotin and I took it for years and I never really knew what my real nails were like under that. So I stopped taking it probably a year and a half ago and my nails grew out ripply and super, super thin. And I think they probably rippled because it was just such, uh, like I just stopped completely from all that biotin to none practically. So I take it still, it's so cheap that it's worth it to me. I don't know if it's done anything for my hair, but I know that it definitely makes a difference in my nails. And as far as foods that I eat to keep me healthy, basically uh, Ryan and I try, and he's the same way as me, we just try to really eat in moderation and, um, you know, whole foods and, you know, keep things low fat, low calorie, just substitute a lot where you can. And yeah, that's basically, it. it's pretty basic. Um, do you prefer drugstore products or higher end cosmetics like from Sephora? Um, I love both. I mean, I love drugstore because they're so affordable. They're so accessible, but I love high end. Like if I'm going to ask for something for a gift, it's going to be a high end product. I wouldn't ask for necessarily, you know, a drugstore thing that I would just go out and buy myself. Um, and I like how Sephora products, they're so easily, they're so easy to find reviews for on Sephora.com. Review or uh, returns are so easy. Like, I mean, you can go back um, practically months later and still return something. So yeah, I like both. Um, what is your favorite perfume? I don't have a favorite perfume that is my signature scent or anything like that. I, I wear tons of perfumes. Um, I love, just got Marc Jacobs Daisy for Christmas. I love that. Um, Michael Kors, very Hollywood. Dior Addict 2, I really love. Um, yeah, those are the ones that I kind of wear the most. And when did you start wearing makeup or start experimenting? Um, I was very young. I was always kind of into that girly stuff. And so I was really young. And just to give you an idea of how young I was, in sixth grade, we had to do a 
uh, how to speech and mine was on how to do a makeover and on one of my friends I did eyeshadow curled her lashes everything all in front of the room so that just gives you an idea of how much I've been into beauty ever since I was even young and I wasn't wearing full makeup or anything like that at that age but I do know that like if we would have a snow day, like a two hour delay from school and my parents would be at work then, I would sometimes put on my mom's foundation before going to school and so I've just always been into it. Um, and what made you start doing videos? Uh, in college, I remember my girlfriend telling me, hey, like I watch YouTube videos on makeup and they're really interesting. I was just kind of like, okay, yeah, whatever. And then one night we were going out, me and my roommates, and I wanted to do a smoky eye, so I just YouTubed it and I watched Tiffany D's tutorial. It was either smoky eye or else her like bridal makeup tutorial. And I followed that step by step and then that kind of got me into it, started watching more. Then I also started looking up product reviews and that's how I came to know Emily Noel. And she, I mean, she just had amazing reviews even back then. And after a while, I just started like experimenting so much and I've always been into makeup, but I got into, like I really learned a lot more about high-end products that I didn't really have access to before and just different techniques and really perfected things. And I figured this is so much fun. I can do my own videos. So in July of 2010, I started making my own videos and yeah, that's basically how it started. And it's really awkward at first. Like it was really like my first video, it's so bad and poor quality and it's just so awkward to talk into a camera if you're not used to it, but then you do get used to it. And I don't know, it's kind of weird, but you get used to talking to yourself. What eye makeup look do you wear the most often? Can you please share the products and how you apply them? Um, I use my Too Faced Naked Eye Palette the most. Uh, I just grab for this all the time. And I did a tutorial using it called um, like matte eye look for mature or hooded eyes or something like that. I did that about two months ago. So check that out. I'll link it anyway um, below here. But yeah, that is the look that I kind of wear the most often. Um, how did you know Ryan was the one and how long did you plan and save for the wedding? Um, I think, I don't know. I feel like I expected to have this moment when I would know he was the one. Um, like he said something and I'm just like, you know what? He is the one for me. And it never, that never happened. I just, dating for five years, you just really get to know somebody and get to know their habits and you just have so many experiences together. And I, and I started to realize, and I didn't realize this early on cause we weren't, we didn't make, we didn't want to put so much pressure on it. We didn't want to be so serious like that. But, um, you know, a few years in we realized, like I just began to realize that you know, this is an incredible guy and he just has such amazing, he's just has such an amazing character and so much integrity and the values that we share and we have the same life goals and the same beliefs and things. And I just realized looking around, like there are not many guys out there that have that total package of what I was looking for. And so I just realized that this is the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with and, and make my life with. And so that's when I just, it was never a moment, it was never a time. I just kind of realized that over time, you know, being with him. Um, can, oh, so many of these, since this has been up for so many months, so many of these don't even apply anymore. Like asking about wedding makeup tutorial and stuff that I've already done. All right, here's one. How do you keep your skin so beautiful? I need a skin skincare routine. Well, thank you very much. Um, I am, really, really into skincare. So I think, I just think it's so important. Your skin is the base and then makeup is just the fun icing on, on top. Um, but you wanna have a fabulous skin base underneath. So I am very diligent about my skincare. Um, the combination of my Clarisonic, uh, my DDF 10% glycolic toner, and then all of the Mary Kay products that I use together. I'm, I just, I'm so diligent about them. I am very consistent. And I am just really, really happy with what they've been doing for my skin all together. And if you want to see more about my skincare routine, an updated one since I did my last video probably closer to a year ago now, um, let me know because that's something that's worth me doing a video on if you want to see that. Um, do you guys have any pets? Uh, we do. We have two fish. Not a big deal. Not that interesting. Um, eventually, I want a dog, but I don't know. I just don't have the time to train a puppy right now or give it the time that it needs. Um, yeah. So what foundation did you wear for your wedding day? If you saw my wedding day makeup tutorial, um, I talked about how you, I wore uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. I loved it. I highly recommend that for somebody testing out foundations to wear for their wedding day. And you know what? 
Miss Ashley Krim, I will link her below. I just remembered she is the one who suggested that for me for my wedding day and, and thank you so much Ashley because that ended up working out fabulously. I wear it all the time, love that foundation. So, oh, here's some good questions. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is coral, uh, coral anything. Makeup, nail polish, I have 10,000 coral nail polishes. I just, every coral nail polish I just am so drawn to. Uh, coral clothing, I think it just looks so pretty with a tan and I don't know, I just love that color. If you could pick one food to eat every day, what would it be? Um, calories aside, it would honestly have to be cheese fries and that is like so fatty of me but I am such a foodie. I love food. I love greasy fried bar food and I also love I mean the healthiest food. I just love a wide variety and so cheese fries with cheese sauce you know that completely fake orange cheese sauce shredded cheese bacon and then dipped in ranch but the homemade thin kind of ranch not like Hidden Valley thick gloopy ranch and if you like ranch, you know exactly what I mean. That thin kind is so much better. So I could eat that every single day. What is your guilty pleasure? Probably reality TV. Um, I love The Housewives. I love every season. I can watch them all. I can watch them twice. I just really like The Housewives. I don't know why. I just find it so interesting and so entertaining. And I think in the beginning when Ryan would watch them with me, he would be appalled because to him, he wouldn't watch something that he didn't... I guess, okay, to word it better, he felt like if I'm watching this, it's because I want to be like them. I think that's the way to live. I think that's great. And that's not at all. He would, I mean, he'd be like, Lindsay, these people are so materialistic. They're in debt. They're fake. It's just so much excess. And I completely agree. So many of those women are just living so beyond their means. They're fake. They're catty. I don't even care. I just think it's interesting. I think that's how women are. Women just like to see how other women live. And I, it's exactly like some of these questions. I think people are just curious. You just want to know how other people live and it doesn't mean that you want to be just like that person. It's just interesting. Um, what is the most expensive makeup item you own? Hmm. That is a good question. I think probably, ugh, I think probably the Naked palette because they're $50. But if it's, you know, most expensive for what you get, probably my Dior Shimmer Powder in Amber Diamond. Um, this is just, yeah, it's just a highlight and it was 40 some dollars and it was my Valentine's Day gift last year, but, and it's beautiful and I like it, but is it worth 40 some dollars? Probably not. Um, but yeah, for what it is, that's probably the most expensive makeup item I own. So I think this is probably a good place to cut it off. This is probably longer than it should have been already. Um, these are the answers to some of my first questions here. I'll do another video. I'm filming it right after this and that will probably be up tomorrow for you. Um, if you have any other questions, just ask them. And if you have any other stories to tell, leave them below. I love hearing that kind of stuff. So I will see you tomorrow.